Implications of Brexit? Well, I, I guess the initial uh, implication is, or, or reaction was one of uh, great disappointment. Um, if I look at, I, I do think, uh, and this is not good news, but I do think that uh, it's rather like a, a merger or an acquisition. Uh, when you put two companies together, that the theory behind that is that they should grow faster. The top line, not costs. You know, we shouldn't. Obviously, there will be there will be a cost benefit in the short term, but that's what people focus on in this low growth world far too too much. The key issue is in the case of Brexit, whether Britain would grow faster within Europe or slower. And my view is that we will grow slower, sadly, uh, outside Europe. So, and I don't think that's a short or medium term thing. I think that's a long term thing. I, I'll be dead and buried, you'll be glad to know, uh, before we see that. And that's the tragedy of what we saw uh, on, on Friday morning. The tragedy is that uh, the people who will have the pay of the price for this are the younger generations who ironically voted in favor, whereas my generation voted out and uh, we're not going to have to live with the consequences for very many years. So I think it's been very short-sighted. We should have, we should have waited the young, vote, young voters two to one uh, because they have much more at stake uh, as a result of this decision uh, than I do or people in my generation. But if I look at the practical consequences of it from a WPP point of view, what does it mean? Well, the four of the Western continental European markets, that's Germany, which is our number four market, France, which is our number six market, uh, Italy, which is our number nine market, and Spain, which is our number ten market. Those four markets are in our top ten, are therefore and therefore very important to us. UK is number two, US is number one, Greater China number three. Clearly, we have to even we have strong presences in Germany, in France, in Italy, in Spain. We have to go further. Uh, we must overcompensate, if you like for this uh, lack, I, I think, lack of access and lack of influence that we will have as a result of this uh, decision. The people have spoken, the electorate have spoken, we have to live with the consequences, but that's what we have to do. Similarly, uh, although Belgium is a smaller market, we have to raise our presence in Belgium uh, and in Brussels because the EU, like it or not, is a major client and uh, we have to uh, increase our presence and prominence there so WPP will sort of shift its emphasis, if you like, paradoxically, to Western Continental Europe. Same time, we have to implement our strategy faster. So where we focus on the fast growth markets, uh, we focus on digital, we fo focus on data. One of the arguments for the outies, or the, the leave campaign, one of the, the things they said was that we should build our business in the BRICS in the next 11. Uh, because we were, in a way, too focused on Western continental Europe or we had not exploited the opportunities as sufficient. We have to do that as well. So we have to implement our strategy, fast growth markets, digital and data, and horizontality, which is ironically getting 194,000 people to work together in 112 countries. On the day that we chose isolation, in my view, the, the, the lesson is we have to integrate our operations uh, more rapidly. So I, I, do, I don't think it's good news, and I hate to be gloomy, but I don't think good news for the UK. I don't think it's good news for Europe because we're going to have a surge or a flood uh, of referenda or referenda attempts in the EU. We will have referenda in the Union as well, in the United Kingdom as well. There'll be question marks already being raised about Scotland, the independence of Scotland, about Wales and indeed about the unification of Ireland, North, North Ireland, Northern Ireland and, and Ireland. So it's, uh, I think, an extremely difficult situation. It will affect the UK, it will affect Europe, it will affect the world too, because I think I've already seen estimates of GDP being reduced, albeit slightly, uh, only slightly, in a worldwide context, at a time when the world's growing slowly anyway, where there's very little inflation and therefore very little pricing power for clients, and there's too much focus on cost. So the, the way we win is by building revenues, not by cutting costs. Uh, everybody acknowledges we have to make sure that we're as efficient as possible, 
but uh, you, you only win by growing the top line by investing in innovation and in brands.